Hi dears, welcome back to Bud's Health. Today I would like to introduce a very beautiful flowering plant named Nandiyarvattam or Crepe Jasmine. Nandiyarvattam is commonly called Pinwheel Flower, Crepe Jasmine, East India Rose Bay and Nero's Crown and its scientific name Dabane Mondana Diverticum. It is an evergreen shrub or small tree native to South Asia, Southeast Asia and China. In zones where it is not hardy, it is grown as a house or glass house plant for its attractive flowers and foliage. The stem exudes a milky latex when broken, hence the name milk flower. The plant generally grows to a height of 5 to 6 feet and is dichotomously branched. The large shiny leaves are deep green and about 6 inch in length and 2 inch in width. The waxy blossoms are found in small clusters on the stem tips. The single petal flowers have the characteristic pinwheel shape also seen in other genera in the family Apusnaceae such as Vinca and Nerium. Both the single and double flowered forms are cultivated, the flowers of both forms being white. The plant blooms in spring but flowers appear sporadically all year. The flowers have a pleasing fragrance. More than 66 alkaloids are found in the shrub. Then how to grow and propagation of Nandiyarvatam. This plant can be easily propagated through cuttings. Once planted, cuttings start growing within 20 to 25 days. The best season to plant the cuttings is rainy season or spring season. This plant can be grown into a plant or tree if allowed to grow widely. It can be planted as a house plant in containers in the form of shrub or bush. Crepe jasmine grows to a maximum height of around 8 feet. Crepe flowers love sunlight. They thrive very well in full sun or partially shade conditions. However, they will display a stunned growth in full shade. They like 6 to 7 hours of direct sun. The flowers grow in small clusters on the tips of the stem. Flowering usually occurs during the spring and the summer seasons during which, which this plant produces abundant silky white flowers since this beautiful plant is grow as a shrub and a hedge plant normally pruning the flower branches helps to maintain its shape and growth in the dire right direction pruning of this plant should be done preferably during the uh, rainy season you can also prune the plant in the month of september and october at the start of the winter season, reporting should be done in the month of October or November. Next is the potting mix. We can use a mix of 30% cow dung compost and 70% garden soil as potting mix. Alternately, if the soil is your area has greater clay content, use a mix of 30% cow dung compost, 20% sand and a 50% garden soil to provide proper drainage to the plant. Grape jasmine can grow in any type of soil, however, the soil needs to be well drained. Lack of proper drainage will result in root rot. Uh, for better growth of the plant, you can mix 2 tablespoons of um, white, uh, white vinegar in a cup of water and apply this mixture in the soil of the plant every 15 to 20 days for uh, shiny green leaves. Do not apply vinegar in excess. The excess application may lead to uh, leaf burning. How to use fertilizer to this plant? All flowering plants need a good amount of phosphorus for flowering and nitrogen for healthy green leaves. The plant should be given fertilizer preferably in the month of September and February. You can use a mixture of cow dung compost, dry leaf compost, neem cake and 2 tablespoons bone meal powder as a fertilizer for uh, this plant. Additionally, every 15 days you should apply liquid fertilizer 
to grape jasmine plant. Mix 1 tablespoon of NPK in 1 liter of water and spray the fertilizer. Use 200 ml of this liquid fertilizer at a time. Do not over fertilize the plant. It may lead to plant decay and yellowing of leaves. Another important thing is watering the plants. This plant requires regular watering so the soil is always moist. However, do not over water. Check the soil dryness by doing a finger test. Insert your finger 1 inch into the soil. If the uh, top soil sticks to your finger, do not water. If the uh, top soil is completely dry and uh, dust off uh, from your finger easily this means that your uh, plant is thirsty uh, once the plant starts developing roots you can reduce the frequency of watering at last we will uh, uh, look at the uh, diseases and uh, pest control for grape jasmine the plant leaves are uh, prone to be eaten by caterpillars it is also prone to attacked by uh, white flies uh, scales nematodes and uh, soot bee mold uh, to prevent it from insect attack um, you can use a neem oil spray mix 4 to 5 ml of neem oil and 2-3 uh, drops of liquid hand wash soap uh, in 1 liter of water and uh, spray on the leaves of this plant how's today's episode hope you like this thanks for watching please keep supporting me please subscribe like and share uh, take care bye bye